When it comes to finances and debt and consumer problems, there's one guy I've learned a lot from over the years, and that's Martin Lewis. You know that number-crunching financial guru who gives all the advice on the telly? I think he's brilliant, personally, and so knowledgeable. And that knowledge has bailed me out the smelly stuff on more than one occasion, I can tell you. And he doesn't half get on his high horse. Well, listen to this latest round. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for a Friday. Hope you're doing all right. I'm not too bad myself. Listen, I just want to spend, you know, a minute or two just giving Martin Lewis a bit, a bit of plaudits, really. You know, hats off, bow, well done, that man, and everything else. He spent absolutely years and years of his life, and obviously set up, uh, you know, MoneySavingExpert.com as well advising people how to save money, how to get out of debt, how to manage their finances, energy bills, mobile phones, parking tickets, you name it, he's been there, he's done it. He just wants a fair and just society for all involved and wants to help if he can. And he's got so much knowledge in that head of his, it's unbelievable. Well, we're all heading for an energy crisis, aren't we? The price of gas and electricity is going through the roof and a lot of our household bills, uh, you know, will become unmanageable for an awful lot of people. And some, uh, well, a fair percentage of some of these private gas and electricity companies went under, bust, gone. I mean, I was, I had that happen to me myself. Uh, I got moved over to Octopus, who for now I'm quite happy with, although we are having words. But the fact of the matter is, something needs to happen, because otherwise we're not going to be able to... Uh, afford to heat our homes or anything like that and get me into a whole world of trouble. Look what Martin said. Eat or heat is the slogan. Do we eat or do we heat our homes? You know, we're, we're living in a day and age where we shouldn't have to make that choice. We should be able to do both comfortably. And the sad fact of the matter is there are thousands of people out there that have to make that choice. And I know of one right now as I'm speaking in my close circle that has to make that choice every day of his life. And it's wrong. As Martin says, the government has to act on this and they have to act on it now. Otherwise, people are going to freeze. And it is getting cold out here, I can tell you that. Anyway, well done, Martin. That's what it was all about, really. I just wanted to give you a shout out, because as usual, I think it's brilliant work. Anyway, I'm off, and I'll see you soon with another one. Toodaloo.